Has any human being ever exercised free will? Differentiated from the illusion of free will. That is one that of the most hard. fascinating. That is hard. Sam Harris wrote a book called Free Will and makes a strong point that humans have no free will. Joel, this is one that a Christian mm -hmm. can take both sides. Because yeah, oh yeah. There's Sovereign Christians and, that are Calvinistic. And free will. Yeah, that say there was a whole group, the Calvinists, that yep. said. If you're born going to hell, you're going to hell. Yeah. And if you're if you were ordained to be a Christian, you are. So yeah. Which was before the modern age of atheism. That the Calvinism was before determinism. So what do you think? Let's I want to hear from you too. Oh. Well that was my question. I texted Zach earlier. I was like, I gotta ask So let's hear Dr. Plus. Question, do you think free will does any human ever exercise free will? Is it real or is it an illusion? Uh, I think it's an illusion. Okay. Huh. You know, I mean, uh, I mean, this gets back to first Cartesian dualism. You know, the, the, so explain that to those of us uh, okay, that the, are not the, up to date on our current. <laughs> my Cartesian dualism must needs a little refining. I was sick that day. I, sit and act like I, didn't I know. I watched everybody's faces. Everybody just got. Like, oh. I just eject. I just pushed the eject button. Right, well. I'm only up to the second edition. <laughs> this is your five minute tutorial. Yeah, on what? Explain what is Cartesian dualism? It's just uh, the notion that there are these two separate causal entities. One is the physical causal entities that Alex was talking about, and there's this other set that is not physical, that's supernatural, okay. basically, basically, that is mystical, spiritual, mm -hmm. or whatever, that we don't understand the cause. Now, of course, we don't understand a lot of the causal mechanisms involved, but uh, the notion that there are two separate essences in the world, um, I, I think, is... Um, Pretty much been debunked by by modern science. So, so yes, I mean we, we, we have a brain. It's a physical system, and it produces the mind, um, and that's what we have is a physical system. So, um, uh, does that rule out the possibility that there's some other physical process in the universe that we don't know about? No, it doesn't. I mean, there there could be and probably is, uh, but. Um, this notion that there are these two separate causal systems, one the physical and the other the non-physical. Cartesian dualism. Yeah, yeah, that's Cartesian dualism. And So does that go against no almost numbers. every core religious belief? Islam, Christianity, I feel like they all Hinduism. think they're... Yeah, it, yeah, it goes against a lot of them, I, I would say. All of them. The, the major ones, base, yeah. the big three. Because, yeah. Well, any well, theistic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Or even Hindu. Well, oh, yeah. He, he, even a, yeah. a spirit, even an, um, an animist, right? An animist uh, beliefs. So you think? So do you think the reason we do stuff, and it appears to be free will, or we can't prove it's not free will? It's just the science isn't good enough to explain it yet. But one day it will be. Well, well, no, uh, probabilistically. So, so I mean, if you just take humans out of the equation in physics. You, it's not a totally determined exactly. system. Brown and it's, motion. It, yeah, it's yeah. probabilistic. So, so yeah. Alex can explain it better than I could. Uh, but um, yeah, you you can predict probabilistically what electrons will do, etc. Um, can you predict deterministically exactly what this electron will do under the? No, you can't. Um, but it's actually yeah. against Heisenberg's principle. Right. So you cannot know the uh, momentum yeah. and location of any particle at the same time. That's you like cannot quantum even, physics. Yeah, it's quantum right? physics. It's, like, it's going to be prob probabilistic, but because we cannot reverse time, we cannot prove that it's not probabilistic. That is a problem. So free will be... Basically, we can never settle this argument because we cannot go back in time and play this simulation game one more time to see if we have different outcomes. But, but so it will never be proven. Alex has a PhD okay. in... Not quantum physics, but you have yeah, it in mechanical engineering. Right, right. Somewhat. But he knows what he's talking about. And, but I think we can all agree, I think everybody here would agree, that there is an illusion of free will. We all have the illusion that we are deciding at every moment, oh, okay, I'm going to decide to do this, I'm going to decide to forego that. So we do have the illusion of free will. Even if there's free will, we have the illusion. But, he, but here's the thing. But if there is only illusion of free will, 
Should we be sending people to prison? Let, let me take a more practical thing. Yeah, then there's no responsibility. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. See, this, that, that's, that's a fallacy. That's okay. a fallacy. Of course we, we should. Because the, the act of holding people accountable, accountable for their actions is an environmental causal force that causes people to be more accountable for their actions. Right. So you're saying... So like, by that, that says that we will exist. As a matter of fact, no, I, no, no. It's, it doesn't say that free will exists. It just says there's a causal influence on people's deterministic behavior. 